Hey there, and welcome back to the Zoom Playground. This is your go-to destination for all things Zoom related, and I'm your host, Betsy Sabatini. And today we are diving into an exciting topic that's sure to take your virtual meetings to the next level and grow that exposure to your business exponentially. It is live streaming your Zoom meetings. But why bother live streaming your Zoom meetings, you might ask? Well, not only does it open up these new avenues for engagement and interaction with your audience, but it also allows you to extend that reach of your content and your voice beyond all those Zoom calls. So if you're ready to elevate your Zoom meetings and unlock the full potential of live streaming, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss an episode of the Zoom Playground. All right, let's get started. All right, so now let's take a look at how to set your Zoom up to live stream. Now you need to make sure you do this before you start the meeting. And it's gonna start by going to your Zoom account on zoom.us. And we call this the web portal. And then down the left-hand side, I want you to click on where you see settings. When you get in there, you're gonna see a whole lot of settings. You're gonna see settings for security. You're gonna see settings for your basic meeting settings. And then when you scroll all the way, you're gonna see a section labeled advanced. And in this section, you're gonna see lots of other settings that I talk about in other YouTube videos on my channel, such as using breakout rooms and turning on those captions that you want and saving the transcript from your meetings. And as you go down, you'll look and see about how to set that virtual background and focus mode. And then sure enough, if you go down far enough, here it is, you see a section that says, allow live streaming of meetings. Now you wanna make sure to the right there that the switch is switched on. You can see it's blue there. If yours is grayed out right now, you want to switch that on to make sure that you get these settings underneath. You can see there's a checkbox for Facebook. There's one for Workplace for Meta, which is more of using your own customized live streaming third-party software. And then you can live stream directly to YouTube as well as other platforms which are listed there. So just make sure you, you select the ones you want. I typically use Facebook and YouTube. And so I make sure sure that those are checked off. There is no save button inside Zoom settings. You just want to make sure that it is turned on and checked off appropriately. All right. So now in the next part of this video, we're going to take a look at how to actually turn on the live streaming when you're inside a meeting. Let's go take a look. Okay. So here we are inside a Zoom meeting. And you can see here, I am the host. And what's shown here is my host toolbar. And at the very far right is a button that says more. You'll see it has three dots on it. When you click there, you see these options. And one of them says live on Facebook. And you will only see that if you have followed along in the beginning of this video and turned on your settings inside your Zoom web portal. When you go ahead there and click on live on Facebook, then the browser opens up so that you can see that you are connected in your Facebook account. If you get to this point and you're asked to sign in, please do. You need to sign into your Facebook account. It'll show you at the top that you are connected. You can see in the boxes below where it says, please choose where to post the Zoom meeting. You can post this live stream to either your personal timeline. You can post and live stream to your business page. And you can post or live stream to your group that you're an admin of. You can even post to a group that you're a member of if you have permission. So once you have picked one of those options, Options. You can then indicate whether you want that video that results from the live stream to be public access to all people who are members of Facebook, or you can do it just to your friends. You can see that there in the options. So when you choose go live, it actually goes live and you see an indicator in your Zoom meeting that you have gone live. All right, so we'll take it from there. That's how you live stream from your Zoom meeting to your Facebook. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe here to the Zoom Playground and turn on those notifications so you never miss an update. If you enjoy learning about live streaming your Zoom meetings, then you're going to love our next topic, which is recording to Zoom while you're live streaming. Just click on the thumbnail right here and it'll take you directly to the video. Again, I'm Betsy Sabatini. Thanks for watching.